Hi. Okay. Um. So this is gonna be a water water fiend guide, cause it's it's not really a guide. It's more of like a t tips and stuff. Cause the water fiends, when I got them as a slayer assignment, they were really annoying for me. So I'm pretty sure some of you guys got them. Cause I went to that slayer guy. What's his name? Like, I had uh, I had Simona. Where is she? Uh, okay. Well, I had Polananovich Kavika. Her name's Simona, though. And then I'm just like, oh, cool, I'm combat level 100. I can go to Shiloh Village now. And then he goes, hello, friend. Uh, go kill 167 water fiends. I'm like, that's not how you make friends, asshole. So, I mean, I don't think we're really friends. If, never mind. But he gave me that. And it took me a while to figure out a strategy to actually kill these things, because I would always go down there and die. And also when I ran down here... And never mind. So, this is just, like, tips. Like, a, a good guide, a guide for Water Fiends would be like, Okay, well, you're gonna bring down your Godthord, and then you're gonna bring down your Bandoth, and you're gonna bring down your Bunyip. And you're just gonna stay there for like three hours until you finish your assignment, and then you're gonna go back to your Slayer Master. The fuck, no one has that shit. Anyone who's watching my videos, at least, doesn't have fucking Bandos and God Swords and stuff. Um. Sorry, I spaced out. So, it's 11.18 right now, but it's a Friday. I don't know why that's relevant. Fuck, I can't think. I can't focus. Dance! Okay, back to the Water Fiends. So, what you're going to want to wear is, uh, if, since, I don't know, if you have a God Sword, you know, that's perfect. But if you don't have a God Sword, go out and buy a, go out, what the fuck? You're inside your house. Go to the Grand Exchange. <laughs> Sorry. Go to the Grand Exchange and, um... And buy a Varix Flail because they're only like 200k, and you can always sell it right back. Because these water fiends, can you see them? No, you can't. But the what? Because the water fiends, they um, they're uh, vulnerable to crush attacks, and the Varix Flail is what gives one of the highest, besides a God Sword. Maybe if you have a Sarah Sword, that'll work too. But you know that's pretty expensive. So Varix Flail, uh. Whatever gloves you can, boots, uh, ranger boots, dragon boots, something like that, something that protects from range, and cape, whatever, shield, whatever. Uh, but you want to have a high defense against magic, because they use magic and that's what hurts the most. So if you can get the green guys, the red guys, oh, forgot about the blueies, the blue guys, or the black guys, fuck if you've got, our, <laughs> none of you guys have our model. I don't know, maybe you do. I don't know, just kidding. So, something with a high magic bonus. And what you like, what you do is you come down here. Oh, sorry, wait. Step back, all the way fucking back. While you're at the Grand Exchange, buy a lot of one type of food. Like, uh, uh, maybe monkfish, if those aren't too expensive for you. Or a lot lobster, salmon, shrimp, I don't care a lot of food, like at least 500 of them, depending on how much you have. You buy a lot of the food because what I'll I'll explain in a second. Just buy a lot of fucking food. Sorry, no cursing. Okay, so the technique hold on. So, ooh. Okay. So the technique you want to do is you're going to get all of your food or whatever and Teleport to Barbarian Outpost, and then, one second, I, I gotta pull up the map. Cause someone's gonna leave a comment going, How do I get to the Barbarian Outpost, man? You gotta show me! Alright, I'll show you. <sighs> I am tired. Okay, so once you get, you're gonna end up right there. Hold on, let me get closer. Boom! Once you get, you're gonna end up right there, and then you're just gonna run south. I think it's south, yeah. And then right there, I mean, straight line. But you run, in, you jump into the whirlpool, and you will end up in the little, cute little dungeon. And once you're in the cute little dungeon, with all of your food, so you get all your food, and then you come here, and then you have a games necklace in your inventory. Watch, I'll wear it. 
Blang. Okay, that's my gold chain. Well, you, you don't have to wear it, but I just, I need to look like a thug. So I put, I'm not a thug. So I put one on. But, okay, so you get down here with all your equipment and all your food. And you pray uh, against magic. Of course, I don't have any prayer. But you pray against magic because there are brutal green dragons who will probably hit a 40 on me right now. Watch. So, maybe I'll avoid them. Who knows? Ninja skills. Activate. Oh! So, once you get past them... See, this is that this is that guy with the bunyip and, you know, 99 fucking... Fuck you. Scott boy. How original. I bet his name is Scott. Alright. My favorite place to go is right over here. And you can chill over here for a good amount of time killing them until you run out of food and then once you run out of food make sure you have a little bit of prayer left once you run out of food you run over here you run over here you protect from mage because I'm pretty sure one of these things will attack you let's try to get one to attack me let's show you what will happen one no run away oh okay so then you run up, back up those steps, and you teleport to Bounty Hunter. So you teleport to Bounty Hunter, or the Wilderness Volcano, excuse me. You teleport there, and then you get, you restock on your food, and then you just teleport back. And then you just keep on repeating that over and over again until you, uh, you do it. I mean, this have 120, that's a lot for me. I remember when I had 16, and I thought I was cool, but, um, one of you, one of you people said that you listen to me while you runecraft, and, like, uh, if you are that person, guess what? You're runecrafting. Okay, so, when I put out a new video, I really like when people comment on it, because that's when I know, oh, guess what, Giants Rule, 1221, two, one. you're in my video times two. So, um... I really like it when you guys comment because it, it, I don't know, it, it, I like it. So, um, like, Silent Owner, he was one of my early subscribers. Like, he was, like, the fourth person to subscribe to me, I think. And, um, I mean, this, this really made my day. Like, that was so great, man. Thank you very much. Um, you're 14, too? I, oh, this is the person who listens to me while I runecraft. While they were in craft, I mean, <laughs> are you kidding me? That's not even a. All right, I mean, this just fucking keep the. I love your vids. Blah blah blah. This is, this is why I love you guys. I mean, thank you so much. Awesome man. Just when will you be on? Okay, I'm putting my mates. Thank you for making. You spelled awesome wrong. I'm just kidding. You kids and your lingo. Uh. Yeah, but. I mean, I try to respond to everyone who says something really nice, but... Oh, shit! No! Can't see any of that. Okay, well, um, now this is, like, kind of moved over. So over here is black, and over here is RuneScape. Um, but if you do leave a comment, I don't care if it's lol or just fucking... If you leave me a 30 million page paragraph Par that didn't make sense but if you leave me something i will comment on it so if you want to ask me like a question or you want to just you know kind of say something that would be that'd be cool but it like anything you say i'm going to comment on each and everyone's whatever they have to say because i'm at the point in i wouldn't say famousness because i'm never gonna get famous uh popularity I'm at the point of popularity where I can comment on people, like, friggin' when hell freezes over and I get, like, 10,000 subscribers. I mean, as much as I would want to comment on each one of them, 10,000, that'd be a lot of work. But, um, I'm gonna run out of time, so I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, leave a comment and I will get back to you on it. Uh, so where the f- how do I stop this shit? I forgot. Alright. Talk to you guys later. Bye.